Alright guys, I'm back and this is a game that where I'm using the MLS team I was talking about yesterday and it also shows how pe some people on FIFA think they're much better than they are, they are and they fail and they think their team's amazing but really his team wasn't the best but neither was mine so I guess it all balanced out in the end. This In this video I'm going to talk mostly about the forward that Davis is got 91 pace and he's in form and he's quite cheap I think I got him for about 6k and he scored just there and he does my favourite celebration is that <laughs> and um he's just been banging goals in I think he's got something like in 5 games I've played as with the MLS team I think he's got about 15 goals and I haven't lost a game with this MLS team so far but this game's I've sort of like cherry picked this game. I don't usually only let in one goal with a defence as bad as this. You'll see sometimes the turning speed of the especially the brands centre back I've got is so slow I'll get caught out so many times but it's also slightly slightly my fault and I should just clear it instead of trying to play out a defence. And another important player in the MLS team and if you want to build the same team you can copy this. Um Thierry Henry is amazing on left mid and he's still as good as he not as every, he's still as good as he was really. He's obviously he's gone down a bit. You know what I mean, anyway. He's still he still does the job and the same as uh, Landon Donovan on the right, he's a legend in this team. I don't think he's good enough to be in the premiership and I think he's uh, extremely overrated on this game, but especially the informed version. But in an MLS team, I think basically a must buy are that Davis up front, and he scored again just there. Uh, Thierry Henry on the left, and Landon Donovan on the right. And one player that really annoys me is Marquez, who I've got him as centre mid, even though he's a centre defensive mid. He used to play for Barcelona. He's got awful fitness. And the commentators are so annoying. Whenever he gets the ball, they they say that here's the Mexican Marquez, and it's it's quite annoying after a while. But I guess that you can get over that. Uh, he's got quite a decent shot, and you see me some, take some rather, uh, basically just a shot to nothing with him from outside the box. Uh, right there, let me. Do, I'm trying to. It's lagging quite a bit in Sony Vegas, and I haven't got time to render it out. But the player I was playing against was sort of not the best, really. And right there, see that sub has just come on there, Castello. He is a legend as well, as you'll see right now. As soon as he's come on, he scores this, which is a unbelievable finish. But the goalie really could have done a lot better. As he's look, he's just sort of knocked it straight back into the net. Well, in FIFA 10, I always thought that. Uh, the goalie would always knock it out he would never knock it into the goal one now I think it happens a bit too often that in, the goalies knock it in but I guess he could should have had a better team really better goalie, higher chemistry his goalie wouldn't make so many f bloody mistakes um, as he, the final score here is I'll ruin it and the final score is 5-1 and I've seen to have like a strange I always get 5-1 wins and uh, I don't mind obviously but I don't know, 5 goals so that's all I can get, I'd never seem to be able to score anymore and I've only, I've only been, I've cut out quite a bit of this game but I did you know, dominate for the whole game and I, it should, could have been about 11-1 but if I uh, took my chances but the second goal, after he sc he equalised, he scored like a pr really cheap goal, and that brings me on to another point. Like tramp goals aren't really tramp, trampy, if you know what I mean. They're trampy if that's the only way you score, and you score like that for every single goal. But in the last minute, I don't think it's a tramp goal because if you if you need to score to win, I think you should definitely just go and tramp it. You might as well. If it's a difference between winning and losing, who really cares? And you might be pissed off when it happens to you, but you would do it back to them. So, and um, when I scored the second goal, I tramped it as well. That was sort of—I I was sort of pissed off still. I was—I think I was shouting about a tramp. Not shouting. This was about one o'clock in the morning. I was just watching a 
the live stream uh, live stream scripter modes on and they were just about to do the crossbar challenge which sort of failed but the people in there weren't very mature my Skype's just gone off I don't know if you just heard that right there let me see who's the game's over now but I'll keep going just to see who's this talking to me on Skype right there this is what she sent me this is my girlfriend but I said I'm making a video so stop beeping for Skype and she put sorry if this beeps in your video but I'm going to my lecture now that's uh stupid thanks a lot anyway I'm gonna go and I will probably make another video later I'm thinking of doing a question uh, like a Q&A video and she's fucking beeped again Right, well, I'll end it as that and